Hello there everyone, this is Pritam and we are going to update our iPad here to you know, the iOS 9 beta version. Right now we are using uh, the latest stable version that's the 8.4.1 that got released few days uh, before. So right now if we check to software update and we will you know, check for the update but it won't show the beta version available here so in order to install or to see the new feature of the new ios 9 we need to install a, pub, a profile beta profile so that we can install the latest beta os to our ipad so in order to do we need to go to safari where you just type Apple Beta Software Program as I've already typed here, and and just click on this this Apple Beta Software Program, and there we need to just sign in, and from here just enter your ID, Apple ID. And remember that you won't able to sign in with the help of non-Apple devices. Like you can't sign in in, in your through your desktop. You need to sign in to, in order to install the, the profile. You need to sign in with the help of your Apple device, where in which you want to install the update, the new version. So. Uh, as I need to install it in my iPad, so I'm gonna do it and sign in through the same device. Okay, now I got I did sign in. So uh, like that, if you want to install it in your iPhone, then you need to uh, go to this particular way with the help of your iPhone, like that. Now we are just going to install the beta profile for iOS 9. So now uh, we need to go to, I think, uh, just we are going back and we need to click here. Get in getting started. Here is a link of in enrolling our devices. And from here. Now, before doing that, you need to archive your entire data and, and do backup because it may result in loss of your data. So now, here is another option of downloading the profile. First step is to archive your archive and iOS backup that usually Apple tells us. The second thing is that to download the profile, beta profile, so that we can download that software and third thing is update our device like usually we do uh, with a uh, stable update that we generally receive now just go to download profile and here now option came of installing that so i'm just going to hit install now it's asking the password i'm just going to enter the password Uh, just the ULA that generally came when we install the software for the first time or we just see anything for the first time now asking for the restart I'm just going to restart my iPad booting rebooting now let's see As of now, we are not able to see any uh, beta version option of installing that. Now, let's see. We have just installed the beta profile to our device. We may can have that option enabled now. As we know, the, now the iOS 9 beta is public.
Okay. Now let's just just we just check that out. Whether we're not gonna have that option enable or not. Now again we are going to general and now here checking for update. Sorry for the slow net, guys. Uh, it might taking more time in order to check the update. Sorry, guys. Let me do it again. As we know, we have now installed the beta profile from Apple. No, we must can see the update as shown in that step. Even though if we are not able to check, then you can just uh, usually uh, see the instructions and the way uh, I I tell uh, told you at that moment how we can search and then we can see. Now here here we can see uh, we can now have enabled the option of installing iOS nine public beta three. The size is 1.4 GB and now we can install and can download and install so I hope guys you can uh, you are able to understand that how we can install the beta iOS 9 beta in our device and before doing that let me tell you that it is very difficult to make a revert back to the stable release so be cautious and go to iOS 9 beta reviews before doing that because if you have installed this beta version then you are not make you are not able to make your device revert back to 8.4.1 so I hope you understand the procedure of doing this so thank you have a nice day and download this and enjoy thank you